The Lake Superior Performance Rally races began this afternoon in Houghton. 56 teams are competing for the fastest drive time for the final event in the National Rally Americas circuit. And TV6's Houghton Hancock Bureau reporter Sarah Blakely joins us live from the Covington service area to bring us more on what the races are doing for the community. Hi, Sarah. Hey Greg, yeah, I'm here at one of the service areas in Covington for Pro Rally. What the racers do is they come here after they run a few stages. Uh, they get their car fixed up a little bit, get a bite to eat, warm up inside. Um, this is part of, this is the first time that LSPR has been part of the National Rally America event since 2009. Hundreds of racers and teams from across the world have infiltrated the Copper Country, followed by thousands of spectators. And for businesses, having this many people here has a positive impact on finances. In its 19th year in the Keweenaw, LSPR has come through for the community again with big numbers. 56 race teams, 112 competitors, hundreds of service crew workers, and thousands of spectators. The race start and driver meet and greet were held on the front lawn of the Country Inn in Suites, where a large crowd gathered to check out the cars before they got covered in mud. It kind of gave the spectators an opportunity to get to stay close to the, the starting point um, and not have to commute to get to this part to see all the cars in the morning and watch them get ready and everything like that. More spectators are filling rooms at the end than racers, a change from previous years, but the visitors have completely booked the hotel for the whole week. As soon as uh, the pro rally sets their dates for the, the Lakes Superior Pro Rally, uh, we start to fill and we'll fill pretty much probably a month or two ahead of time. For the hotel's neighbor, the Rock House, traffic into the restaurant has increased by about 10 to 15 percent. It makes people want to come back and, and I think that with the hotel right next door we have a nice partnership with them. It's, it's nice. People don't have to drive very far. Uh, they can come in and have a, a good dinner and they can have a few drinks and they don't have to worry about driving back anywhere. In having so many people from across the world come up for the races, it leaves a good feeling for the prospect of future tourism. There's really not a whole lot of business before the snowmobilers get here and all the summer travelers have have kind of gone because there's not a whole lot to see so we're really lucky to have this up in our area Now the races will continue tomorrow and I'll be back here again at 7 to uh, bring you some more information about spectator information and anything else that you might need to catch the races but for now reporting live in Covington Sarah Blakely TV6 News